Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Shed Ranking and I'm a data analyst. I'm going to be dropping my link in profile uh, link in the, in the description below. You can go ahead and connect with me on LinkedIn if you're on that professional network. So what are we doing today? Today we're going to learn how to extract, transform and load data using the Microsoft SQL Server Integration Services. So you, know, you may be wondering, what is SQL Server Integration Services? Well, it's also a component of the Microsoft SQL Server database software that can be used to perform a broad range of data migration. So, uh, in this project, I actually made it look very easy. So, you don't have to sit down and watch one long video. You can just take the part. Once you're getting warmed out or you're getting tired, just take a break. Maybe you hit a particular error. You can just drop it drop the uh, error in the comment section and i'll just come back to it and maybe you continue again so it's broken up into nine lessons and this video just will prepare you for the upcoming lesson so if you skip this part you might get confused so you don't skip this part and you don't avoid that subscribe button or that like button there you need to share this video out so what are we doing in this video uh we are going to extract data from a flat file make some necessary transformation and load the data into a destination that's what we are doing in this project here so at the end of the, uh, this tutorial uh you are expected to learn how to create a new exercise project configure the condition manager for the package to connect to the source and the destination data uh, all of this will be explained as we continue in the sections below you know what the connection manager is you know what uh, a connection manager for the data uh, destination is and all of that and you also know how to add a data flow that takes the data from a flat file source and uh, you also learn how to perform some lookup transformation on that data then you also learn how to configure the, the data for transmission because it's an extraction a transformation and a loading process so you you, you learn how to actually what add the data flow that will take the data from the flat file source and uh, secondly perform the transformation and finally load it so that is what uh, you're, you're expected to learn at the end of this uh, project. So, what are the prerequisites? What do you need? Well, we actually need a place like a warehouse for our destination, which is the so which is the very popular SSMS, which is the SQL Server Management Studio. So, you need a Visual Studio installer. Uh, you can install the Visual Studio community from the Visual Studio installer. Uh, from the bullet, you should be able to understand. The way it is being arranged though so we also need the sql server data tools the ssdt and i also need a flat file which is named the sample codacy data dot txt which is which we're going to use and uh, also our database which is the adventure works 2020, uh, 2012 sample uh database i don't want you to skip this video i don't i want you to watch this video to the end because i'm going to walk you guys through on how to set up these tools and uh you don't skip that like and share button that's particular subscribe button you are seeing there go ahead and hit it so uh let's set up our tools so what is the first tool that we need here uh the first tool that we need here is our ssms so just go ahead and google ssms and uh the first link that comes out i don't think it's that huge i think about 500 to 600 mb i've already installed this on my system so i don't need to install it uh but i'm going to drop this link in the description below so you don't go ahead um looking for it so just come here and uh, download the latest version just hit on this free download and it will download and install it on your machine uh, we're using the latest version which is 18.12.1 so the next uh tool that we need here is our visual studio so the first link as well so once you open this the first thing you're downloading is the uh visual studio you are you're downloading the, the, the visual studio um installer so just hit on this free community here and uh to download so here it is it's not huge just about 2 mb so once you download that show in folder so let's wait for that to come up let me show in folder okay so here it is once you do that go ahead and open it this is the visual studio installer this is how it looks like let me open the property and show you if i click on more now and i check properties you will see i seen it 
the visual studio installer so i've already installed this on my machine so i, I do not need to install it but once you download this just go ahead and install it it will download some components just continue download some component and install it so once that is being installed on your machine this is what's going to come up let me get rid of that so what has been installed on your machine this is where it's going to take you to if you successfully install it so just go ahead and open it let me open it and show you how it's going to look like it's coming up please wait for it to come up so this is how it's going to look like when it's come up the visual studio installer so here you see i've already installed my visual studio community but it will bring you to this page so this is the page where it's going to land you in let me go to modify it will bring you to a page where you will see the workload and other features at the top here so i'm going to walk you guys through on what to do and how to do it so once it brings you to this page here once it download the components and it open up it will bring you to this page here so you need to navigate through and look for data storage and processing so just check that so once you check that you it will bring you to this place here go ahead and check the sql server data tools and the net framework go ahead and check that some of these services you are seeing here they, they appear down here because i've already installed them so it's about seven gig or so you can either install while downloading or install so once you hit that install it's going to download all of those components and install them and your visual studio community will be ready so you install this through your visual studio installer so once that has been done you go ahead and, and launch it so let's launch it and let's look at some tools that are also going to add it but this is how the, the visual studio looks like this particular one that opens the first time is the visual studio installer if it actually take time to come up i'm just going to uh pause the video but if it doesn't take time then i will just stay with you and wait until it actually comes up so let's wait for it okay it didn't take much times so this is it so what you need to do is continue without code i've actually done some project that's why it's here so i'll just continue without code so once you do that it's going to load the environment for you you are seeing this environment here it's dark the reason why it's dark is because i've actually uh changed the team of my i've changed the team of my that is why it's dark like this so once you open uh your visual studio 2022 which is the latest version i seen it 2022 once you open your visual studio what you do is come to this extension here is it still loading i don't think so so go to manage extension so this is where you're going to install the services that you need all of the services that you need just click on that extension and click on manage extension so another manage extension uh editor is going to come up so here you can come here and uh search for just search for services if you need the analysis services but you know in this service we are in this particular project we're using only the integration services but it's good for you to just install all the services at once so if i click on services now you see i already have the sql integration services already installed i have the analysis services installed i have the reporting services installed um but for this project we need only the sql server services so if you're kind of managing your your network and all that just go ahead and install one just hit the, 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 the a download button will appear down here just hit on the download button and download it and install it mind you when you are installing it make sure you close all the windows every that is open that is regarding to sql server services just make sure you close everything before you install it so once it's installing it will automatically pick up the community so if you already have Let's say you have two communities because I was using previous communities, like I was using the 2019 and all that. So I had to uninstall it. Else, any other services that I'm installing, it will be contemplating which to pick. So if you have any other services installed, uninstall it and let it be only be this uh 2019 uh Visual Studio community that should be installed on your machine. So once you do that, just 
install it and once it's once it is installed and you want to confirm and see if it actually installed on your machine you can just come back to this uh particular manage extension here and check for your install just come to this install here and just hit on install and here you can see these are all the services that i've installed on my system you can see i have the reporting services i have the uh, integration services as well as analysis services all installed on my system so um the next thing that we need is actually the sample the sample and the uh, the sample the, the sample the flat file source which is the sample uh, data as well as the adventure works well i'm going to drop the link for that in the description but as we continue in the videos i'm going to download and install them i'll show you guys as we continue in the videos so that is not really necessary now so once you have these tools ready i think you're ready to start your first video i'm going to walk you guys through on how to download each each of the adventure works and actually restore it so because you know we're actually restoring it on our database because it's it's, it's really the, it's already a database so we so we're only um restoring it so i'm going to walk you guys through and show you guys through how you can download this database here this database here and actually restore it on your on your machine so just watch the video and continue with the lessons and once you get to that aspect i'm going to do that as well as the the flat file source and I'm, I'm also going to show you guys how to retrieve it once we get to that aspect so i want to congratulate you give a big congratulation for starting this project and i wish you all the whole best and uh if you get tired just pause the video take a break and come back so um for this video that will be all if you haven't subscribed to my channel please feel free to hit the subscribe button i want to say a big thank you for watching stay blessed see you in the next video